when working on the rail network, one of the key tools to help you complete your tasks efficiently and cost-effectively is knowledge. Knowledge of what is on your network as well as its current condition and location. Capturing this information is not always simple and, with an increasing number of vehicles using our railways, gaining access is becoming even more difficult. Using the latest technology, Automatic Mapping of the Railway, or AMR, brings all of the accurate information you need to your desktop, quickly, safely and efficiently, saving your team time and money. AMR has been used essentially by IP. Not all signaling projects, but many of them are enhancements projects. This has been over a number of years, uh, again against the standard specification, which is important. Totaling about 70 projects in all, covering about 30% of the network. Before we'd AMR, we would send the guys out with a wheel, lengthy process on site, so that's not a safe practice. Uh, guys on the track. We would then get that data into the office in hard copy and have to use that data and trust that the survey is correct. With AMR you can re-survey by looking at the video so it's going back and repeating that information. It's been very successful. Um, it gives the driver's view which is important at the end of the day but it also doesn't stand on its own. It can be augmented with data captured from other methods as well. The first step to the AMR process is planning. An early meeting with the Signal Innovations Group and Omnicom teams to discuss your requirements allows the survey to be booked at a time to suit your project plan. I'm part of data collection services within asset information function. We man all of the infrastructure monitoring trains capturing a wide variety of uh, data streams to provide information to engineers to add insight into the condition of the asset. TRU Track Recording Unit has a fairly intensive program through the year that set um, anything up to 15 months out. If we have as much notice, we can endeavour to record whilst we are routinely in the areas that the, the signalling team require the surveys from undertaking. If we're not, then we have to plan something special and that can be a bit more challenging in a tight programme. The AMR survey can be carried out using the Network Rail Track Recording Unit or multi-purpose vehicle and undertaken at traffic speeds within normal timetables to reduce any impact on other services. Omnicom also have a road rail vehicle with the system fitted and a portable system could be fitted to one of your vehicles. Multiple cameras mounted on the unit are calibrated and synchronised to capture HD images from the optimum position for the data required. Whether it be asset identification, virtual signal sighting, asset measurement or defect monitoring. My team works in Kent and Anglia um, part of the country and we recently used it on Cambridge Interlocking Renewals where we've gathered data for a wide area um, of railway and we're also um, going to use some of the data to look at the resignal of the Chippenham Junction which we'll use to produce scheme plans. The main benefit of using the process and tool sets is cost, it's a programme, and also safety. There is a large cost saving to be made um, on large projects especially because you're not sending as many people out to do manual surveys. That in turn leads to the improvement in safety because you're not exposing those staff to the real environment. And there's also um, benefits to the programme because you get a fixed date when the train's going to run a fixed date for delivery of the data and also then you can apply that to your date for producing scheme plans. You can be confident that the data provided is accurate and consistent thanks to the tried and tested quality processes that are key to the survey. At the end of every AMR project, a quality management report is completed and issued to show that the survey met your specification. The data can now be sent to the trained team of technicians to carry out the asset capture. 
assets are collected and grouped in line with the project requirements. Again, quality control is integrated into the process with random sample assets checked and additional verification methods used on certain track layouts. We've used AMR uh, on a number of projects, resignaling schemes, Hartford North, uh, Sudforth Lane, which was, uh, which was a reasonable scheme, and we're currently using uh, AMR for middle and main line electrification. It gives good, good valid survey data to the designer when he's producing signalling designs. It's repeatable and we can go back to the survey. Uh, the information you need to give is which lines need to be surveyed, um, the mileage you're going to survey between, and um, whether you want data capture, which is the important factor. Running an AMR survey takes a little while for the train to run to all the places you need. They can't get the train pass at each time. So planning the, planning the survey early helps to, to, to keep timescales for the uh, delivered design. Well, I'd certainly recommend using this process. It makes the uh, production of designs um, of a higher quality, um, more resolute in their, their output, uh, but it improves the, the process overall because it gives you more assurance. Future developments under the Signalling National Innovation Portfolio include integration with laser data, the provision of tools and models for constructability assessments, integration with design tools via the Signalling Data Exchange format, and virtual modelling. Automatic mapping of the railway, bringing the network to you.